morning. I'm going to talk to you today about depression. Um, I sound a little husky, don't I? It's because it's early in the morning. Um, I'm on my way up to Aberdeen today to see clients, which is great. So I've got a few clients in Aberdeen and then I've got an online client later, which is why I love my job. Anyway, so I was just, um, I was just musing on the fact that almost every client that I see, I send every client a form and the form allows them to fill in some details and has my terms and conditions and all that sort of stuff in it. And one of the details I ask my clients to give me is if they are on any medication that's relevant to mental health. And, you know, almost every client, it's amazing the number of clients that are on medication for depression and anxiety. And I see clients for way, way more stuff than that. That's only a small percentage of the clients I actually see. Actually, clients for depression is quite a small percentage because it takes quite a lot when you're in a depressed state to reach out and try and help yourself. So that's probably the, the least amount of clients I see. Although I can affect change in them just as easily in all, as in all other clients. Anyway, the ones that really amaze me is the amount of clients I see for weight loss that are on depression medication or anxiety medication. And I was just talking to my husband about how amazing it is. And he was like, yeah, it's like an epidemic really, isn't it? And it is, you know, it's, it's the amount of people. The only thing the doctors seem to be able to do for people is to give them medication. And the, the problem with medication is it doesn't fix anything. It doesn't change anything. All it does is alter the chemicals in your brain. So for depression, it alters the chemicals in the brain so that you don't go too low. And that, that's a good thing, don't get me wrong, you know, stopping you going too low and doing something daft is a really good thing. But in the long term, you can't just get by with a chemical balance change. You need something to actually address the issue in the first place. So medication is a stopgap at best, but most of the clients that I see have been on their depression medication for at least five years, some 20 years. And that's crazy, don't you think? There's got to be a better way. And you hear talk on the radio about it. You hear talk that says we've got to find more ways of doing talking therapies and counselling to address this epidemic that is depression. We've got to give the doctors something else to offer other than just medication. And yet when I went up to my doctors, I, I um, fill in research forms, NHS research forms, with all clients that I see because we're trying to get cognitive hypnotherapy put on the NHS and we're a good way towards that. We want to show that coming to see one of us is more effective, equally or more effective than seeing a CBT practitioner, cognitive behavioural therapy, which is currently the NHS's preferred choice of counselling. And so what we do is we measure success in exactly the same way as the NHS do. Everybody who comes to see me fills in a bunch of tick boxes before we start speaking. So we get a benchmark, it goes into a big anonymous database, and then the results are pulled out so that you can say, oh, you know, 100 people treated for depression who started off above the threshold as defined by the NHS, uh, 70% of them were able to reduce to below the threshold within six weeks or something like that. That's kind of the numbers, the way the NHS does it. So we don't really use it for our sessions, but it's very valuable for proving that uh, the cognitive hypnotherapy can really make a difference. <coughs> Excuse me. So I took my personal results up to my local surgery and said, ta-da! You know, my personal results showing that most clients that I deal with are dramatically changed within the space of two to three sessions over six weeks. Dramatically changed from being above the threshold to well below it, to being what the NHS would class as going from depressed, severely depressed, to not depressed at all, within six weeks. And I said, I'm around the corner from you, and I know you're looking for other things instead of prescribing medication, so maybe you can refer people to me. They went, oh, that's very nice. And then I never heard from them again. It's frustrating. And it's frustrating when I see people for weight loss and all sorts of other issues who have been on medication for life. And through working together, I will change that with them. So that's my rant. 